Okay, so to get started working with PHP, you are going to need a couple of things. The first thing is local web server, and the second thing is PHP install and enable on that web server. Now you can do this manually. I would like to encourage you at some point or another to go ahead and do this just so you know how to set things up. But luckily for us, particularly if we are using a Mac and using OS X, we have very simple solution to go ahead and install this. So this is a piece of software called MAMP. So if you go here, MAMP download. So once you will download and install it, it will install Apache, it will install PHP, which are the two things we're going to use in the rest of the series and videos. Once you will download MAMP, you will be able to pull up MAMP windows on your screen. So you have to download MAMP from here. So if, if you're using Windows, you can go here and download Mac. And if you're using Mac OS X, then download from here. Once it's downloaded, so you can easily access through your menu bar or here is Mac window. Alright. So you can control everything related to your web server and web services of your web server. We can start our server, we can stop our server, we can change around our preferences. So let me put password. So you can start your web server, you can start your um, database server, that's MySQL server and it shows that once you install so it's going to show you this message welcome map has been installed successfully and we go back to our all right so so you can see here so open web start stop servers and you can go in preferences and here you can see all the settings for PHP MySQL and Apache so in this stage it is normal stage nothing is on so now we have this setup and we can access web server in the browser so next thing is gonna be a text editor so you have to download a text editor I think I have already downloaded text editor here and if it's not so you can go online here and download atom.io download for Mac so I'm gonna download this text editor so it's 87.1 megabyte depending on your speed it's gonna be downloaded in a minute so once your text editor is gonna be downloaded you have to install your text editor and we need to go and download um, first we have to download and then we have to create our first PHP file so give me a second and the text editor is downloaded and now I'm gonna install this text editor few seconds more now so here you go your text editor is downloaded so I'm gonna close this I'm gonna close this also this also and file new file 
and then you can save as this file. So you go applications. So you go applications and you go here to So you go to here, MAMP, htdocs, phplearning, and you can make file name, first file dot php, save, and less than sign, question mark, php, We're gonna, we're gonna write down echo command echo this is my first skip for PHP and semicolon so we're gonna save this file file save go here and just applications map htdocs so your directory name is php learning so you go here localhost php learning enter so this is picking up your index.php file and we have we made a new file and the new file name is first file.php so you write down first file.php enter and that's your echo command. This is my first script for PHP.